And here we have the Miller's Designer Plus software open and ready for us to begin our project. Click on the Create a New Project icon. The next screen is where we'll choose the type of project we want to create. Scroll through the various items you can order through the software, accordion books and minis, business cards, flat cards, folded cards, letterpress products, other Lux products. And you'll find a unique set of options you can choose for your client. Let's create an accordion book. So double click on the accordion book icon. Brings up the selection you can make for your accordion books. You can create an accordion book or accordion mini books. Today we're going to create an accordion book. Again, double click on the icon. And we're brought to the screen to choose the type of accordion book we want to create. We can choose a 4x8 accordion book or we can choose a 4x8 accordion book with an image on the flap. We'll choose that option. Again, double click and we'll enter the name of our project. We're just going to call this demo and then today's date. Click on create and this screen will open for you to begin working with your project. The first thing you want to do is to load some images into the software. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Go over here to the left hand side of the screen. You can click on the pictures plus sign and either add individual files or a folder containing pictures. Or another option is to have a window open with the image files you want to use in the project. I have a folder of images already open I want to use in this project. Let me drag them into the screen. Here I have four images we'll use for our project. First take an image and drag it into the cover area of our project. So I'll take the cover JPEG file and just drag it into the opening and what you'll see is it populates the template. Next we'll want to include an image for the flap on this project. Uh, we have an image here called flap image. So I'll again drag and drop that into the opening for the flap image. I see it populates in that location. Next go up to the very top and you'll notice we have our cover and we have the front and the back of our project as well. So click on the one to two. That opens our template for us to drop more images into our project. We have them labeled inside front, inside back. So again, I'll take my image for the inside back. Again, clicking on the image and then dragging, dropping it into the template. And same for the inside front. Again, drag and drop the image into the template. And you'll see now we have the project completed. Now let's explore some of the options we have within the software. First you'll notice we have a selection of icons we can click on. Uh, the first icon is a undo. The next icon is a redo. We can save our project. We can add a picture box. We can add a text box. We have options to zoom in and zoom out. We can go back to an earlier page. Brings it up here. We can go on to the next page. Uh, as we were just looking at. The last icon is a preview of what this would look like. And you'll see we have a larger viewing of the project. Click on the right pointing arrow. The front and back of our project is now displayed. Click on the X to exit out of the preview. You'll notice along the right hand side of the screen we have several different options we can use to modify the image box. We can change the shape sides, angle, we can add lines, we can add drop shadows if we so choose. Go to the next icon, allows me to change the image orientation. So if I click on the cover and let's say we go over here to the flap image, if I decide I want to turn that image upside down, I can click on the flip vertical and do just that. I can flip it horizontally as well. I can change the image from a color image to a black and white image or to a CPU right within the software. If I decide that I want to add a vignette to the image, again I can do that as well. Click on the vignette option. Choose your shape. You can have a square or a circle or oval shape applied to the image. Let's bring the opacity down on that. Let's blur here a little bit. All right. and we can change the size here, here for us as well. So lots of options, lots of flexibility you can use with the software. And there it is without, and here it is with. So be sure and check out these options. The next option has to do with text. Lots and lots of options for text. You can choose different types of underscore, strike through, 
superscript, subscript here. We can change opacity, width, we can outline, we can change the spacing, we can change the direction, alignment here for you, so lots of possibilities for text we haven't had before. We can have the option to line things up if you want to choose an image node. If you're doing this manually, line up an image node, you can see the X and Y position, width and height, offsets uh, as well. And of course, finally, the last option uh, is to set uh, a background for your page as well. You can choose a color for the front, you can choose a color for the spine, as well as a color for the back as well. So lots of possibilities, lots of options, lots of flexibility for you to create for your client. Now, in addition to the pre-designed file, which is what we use, you can choose to use the option for a blank slate. And there's also some templates you can use as well to drag and drop your images into as well. We have a classic. Uh, we have a scrapbook boy, scrapbook girl, uh, elegant damask, several different options, several different designs you can use here as well. So be sure and check out the page styles. Uh, we have masks that you can add to the project. Uh, you can add frames. You can add scrapbook materials here. So lots of possible. Be sure and check all these different options out for your project for what you'd like to create. Let's go up to the top left in which we have a file menu. We have a file save, uh, which we also use a keyboard shortcut that's now available. We also have the ability to close. We can check the project. We can create proofs. Uh, you can place an order for this project as well. We go up to the edit. We can do it undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, select all. Uh, we can insert a picture box, choose a shape you want. We can choose a shape to just insert onto our project, text boxes as well uh, for the page. Again, we can duplicate a page, we can add a page, we can rearrange our pages here for us, or we could go directly to the first, last, previous, or, or next page in a multi-page project you may be working on. Click on View. And of course, this allows me to show or hide certain aspects uh, of the project window. Uh, we can show a ruler. Click on the Show Ruler and adds a ruler to our page layout for us. Uh, click on View. Uh, we can add guides to our page as well. Click on the uh, Show Guides. We can snap position. We have guide settings we can set. Uh, we can have a grid. Show the grid. And it shows a light grid here on the page for alignment of your image nodes, your text nodes for you. And of course, we can zoom in. We can zoom out. We can go to a minimum zoom, maximum zoom. Uh, so lots and lots of possibilities with this software. Now, once we're finished, we'll go over here and click on File and save. Saves a project for us and now we're ready to uh, continue with the new project or to take this project and actually place a, an order for our clients images. So go here to file and let's do just that. Let's place an order from this. Click on the order option. Brings up this screen. You'll need to read through. The, there is a checkbox you'll need to check here. Click on start and this will then open your browser in which we'll go to window we'll log in and choose some other options for the project. So we'll click on start and here we have the screen which will log in to the Miller's website. You use your standard login to our website as you, you always use. Click on login. You're brought to this page where you can see a summary of the cost at this point. You can add certain options to your project such as adding a frosted slip cover. Just click on the add and that will add it to the project for you. Next option is for boutique packs. If you'd like to include that, just click on Add. If you'd like to choose maybe a different cover option or a different type of paper, we can certainly choose from here. Let's click on the different type of paper. Let's click on Change. And let's say we'd like to go with maybe a bamboo. Click on the bamboo option, Change. And that will add that additional cost to the order for you. And of course, if we want any coding changes, we can add that as well. And you'll see the total at this point is now 4150. Click on continue. Brings us to this page where we just uh, can check which option we want to use, free shipping or a drop ship to my client. Click on continue. Gives you a summary page. At this point, gives us a summary of what the expected cost is. Click on the confirm order and that will upload the project to the lab to begin the printing and processing of your item and deliver it to your client.